Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how you can force Universal Mac apps to run under Rosetta emulation instead of natively. It's worth noting that Apple offers the enhanced Universal 2 binary feature to its developers who wish to ship macOS apps. That feature code for both Intel and Apple Silicon systems. In other words, a Universal binary runs natively not only on Apple M1 but also Intel based Mac computers. Added features executable code for both architectures. However, if you want to run a native Apple Silicon app under Rosetta emulation, let me guide you through. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. Native Apple Silicon apps run more smoothly on M1 Macs than translated apps that run with the help of Apple's Rosetta Translator that has been introduced in macOS 11, Big Sur, and later. When you launch a Mac app for the first time on Apple Silicon computer, you might be asked to install the Rosetta component to open it. Rosetta will then be available for any of your apps that need it. Another thing worth keeping in mind is that if a Mac app only contains Intel binary, macOS will always execute it using the Rosetta translator on Apple Silicon systems. As I have just outlined above, a universal binary runs natively on both Apple Silicon and Intel based Macs, added packs and code for both chip architectures. According to Apple, Rosetta 2 works in the background whenever you use an app built only for Mac computers with an Intel processor. It automatically translates the app for use with Apple Silicon. In most cases, you won't notice any difference in the performance of an app that needs Rosetta. But you should contact the app you know, developer to inquire about a version that can natively use the full power and performance of Apple Silicon. It is entirely possible to force a universal app to run on Rosetta instead of natively. Just in case you are wondering why the hell would you want to force universal Mac apps to run under Rosetta emulation instead of natively and whether or not it will be slower, I would like to tell you that there could be multiple reasons why you may want to run native Apple Silicon apps in Rosetta. Maybe you want to use a browser with an older plugin that doesn't work on M1 Max, or maybe you are an app developer who wants to have the flexibility to compare code execution in Rosetta emulation versus native. Whatever could be your side of story, it's always great to have the option to force universal Mac apps to run under Rosetta emulation instead of natively. To begin with steps, first off, you have to click on an app icon in the finder and then you have to click the file menu in the finder and select the option called get info. After that, in the get info window, you have to check the box right next to open using Rosetta. Now you have to close the window, that's pretty much it. Going forward, you'll be able to run Mac app that contains both Intel and Apple Silicon code as if it was basically a non-optimized app written for legacy Intel-based Mac computers. Now that you know how to force universal Mac apps to run under Rosetta emulation instead of natively make the most of it to enhance your user experience and I'll see you in the next video with more such cool hacks. Till then have a great time, bye bye.